All right, round four, we're doing the top selling games of all time. These have got to be the best games, right? Because of the yeah. top ones that have sold. Like in the Brass, whole world, Gloomhaven, right? Ticket to Ride. I think that, I think, well, we'll wait till, you're talking about number ones. We'll wait okay. till we can see what we have in number one. But to start out with, we're going to start at number 20, see how far we get. If this goes multiple episodes because of just how awesome these games are and we have to get in on all our stories about them, then we'll see what happens. But we're going to start with number 20. And number 20 is the amazing game Cranium. Ooh. All right. Coming in with a million copies sold. Came out in 1998. Old man Chris, what do you think about that? Two to four teams can play Cranium. I have actually, I've watched Cranium be played. Isn't this the one where you have like Play Doh and stuff that you do things with? You do different things, you manipulate things. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. Okay. Well, is anybody. You've got, you, you've got like, uh, I actually like Cranium a lot. It's, you've got. Play-Doh, Play-Doh is kind of a weird one, but that's, that's the category where you either draw or you use Play-Doh to create something and get people okay. to guess stuff. But it's also like you get to sing or act. It's a little bit of, a little bit oh, of dictionary, a little bit of, what, what's it called? Uh, Isn't it like a trivia game type of thing? I yeah. didn't think so. Is it? Yeah, I've, I've actually got the deluxe, like silver boxed version of it. I, I like it. We'll see there. Look at that. So uh, we got man, number 20 is a great Chris, game. Any, uh, so. any cranium stories, Chris? No, I, I've avoided it like the plague. I oh. I hate all of those mass market trivia or Pictionary, like all those games. I I can't stand them. I just yeah, I would rather do almost anything but play those games. Like that that's part of the reason I love like Times Up is so good. Like it's it's in that genre and it's fantastic. But like every other game in that genre, I just I want to put a bullet through my brain. It's wow. awful. I hate those games. Okay. Cranium is actually a good one. It's one of the few that's well, actually decent. I have a Cranium story I could share briefly, if that's okay. That's sure, yeah. completely are. So in Cranium, there's, there's, there's a, I think it's called Star Performer is one of the, the categories. And that's where you either like hum or whistle a song or you get people to guess uh, somebody famous by just doing motions. And so, I mean, it's kind of the same kind of stuff as Time's Up, right? So in this particular case, I was playing with some, with Jessica and a couple of her friends. Uh, so it's three girls and me. And I have no shame, apparently, because I was trying to get them to guess David Hasselhoff. Oh, nice. <laughs> so what I did is I got up and I ripped my shirt off and I did this slow motion running thing. <laughs> and kind of like hummed the Baywatch theme. So this was from uh, Knight Rider? <laughs> no, this was uh, this was Baywatch. <laughs> did they get it right? Like they actually did. Wrestling? They actually did. Oh, okay. oh very nice. Very nice. Okay. But that was that's the funniest cranium story I've probably got. That's that's a good one. <laughs> All right. One. I think I think we're ready for number 19. All number right. 19 is the amazing this one people like. Uh number 19 is Blockus. Yeah. Or Blocus. I don't know. Is that do I always say it right? Which is it Blocus? Blocus? People call it Blocus, but I, I know think, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but it, it's calls both. It Blocus. I, think, I don't people I've heard do. it said people. it's a thing. I would say you uh, play with blocks. My, sold, uh, uh, I know. Hold on, hold on. It sold 3 million units plus more than 3 million. Introduced in the year 2000, 20 out ot, and plays two to four. Blockus. Is it kind of a checkersy kind of thing, but you're playing, you're like, or more like oh, an wow. area control kind of thing where you're putting blocks down? I don't know. I've yes. never played it. Yeah, it's area control. You're putting down yeah. these like Tetris like tiles, but mm -hmm. you can't put them adjacent to each other. You have to put, or from your own color, you have to do diagonals. So what's kind of cool about that is you can kind of jump into somebody else's territory because you you can jump in through the diagonal or whatever. Diagonal. It's actually my youngest son, Owen. It's actually one of his favorite games. He actually, he'll play with it, but he loves to play it as well. So it's easy enough for kids to play and he likes it for some odd reason, but he gets super excited about it. And it's, hmm. it is a really good strategy game. It was actually in our family. Uh, we had a board game gift giveaway kind of one somebody brought Blockus, and it was like yeah a popular choice and uh yeah a lot of real gamers like Blockus. i don't know that's i just realized i know who calls it blocus who is it the brits oh, <laughs> you there you go let's play some blocus <laughs> that was actually pretty good andy uh yeah i've never actually played it i've always i've been intrigued by it but it, i've never actually had a chance to play it so i, I, I would be intrigued yeah, yeah. it's right. it's a fun cute little game i mean it's Next game uh, night, maybe tonight even. It's, it's a <laughs> fast game too. I mean, yeah. it shouldn't have any AP unless you're playing with me. And you can play yeah. four players with it. Like, does everybody have their own side and they're working yeah. in the middle? Oh, okay. Yeah, you start it from never the corners. Work. It would okay. never work it's for Randy though, because 
He's, he's color blind. Oh. He's color oh. And shape blind. And that's, that's <laughs> right. Colors and shapes. <laughs> True. It's a weird uh, affliction. That's tough. <laughs> All right. What's number 18, John? Number 18 is the fabulous Connect 4. Sold yeah. over 4 million units. Introduced in 19 and 74. Hey, it came out the same year as that uh, Colombo game that I had on. Uh... Oh. There you go. Go. So, All there right, you go. guys. I have to talk hilarious. about this one because it involves our producer, Randy. Okay. <laughs> Connect Four is apparently Randy's all-time favorite game in the world. And for our International Tabletop Day, now known as FPC Game Day, he wants to run a Connect Four tournament. And to prove how good this game is, he constantly challenges me to Connect Four. And I'm undefeated. Oh, Randy, who, is, who beats everybody at every game ever, yes. cannot beat me at Connect Four. Yeah. I am a Connect Four savant. Just saying. Wow. Five games. I'm reminded Five by the, the voice in my head there. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I don't think what do you guys Connect think of it? Four, I don't think I've played Connect 4 in decades, so... No. I, don't really I, I wreck my son at this at this game routinely, and uh, okay. and uh, it's great. I, I love it, and not just because I'm wrecking my son, but what I love <laughs> about it is not only is the game itself great, but he actually, like, takes it in stride, and, like, he actually is like, oh, dang it, all right, let's play again. Like, you know, he's not, like, discouraged or anything like that. He's just like oh okay you know like and i keep trying to teach him i was like you know like don't don't worry so much about trying to do your thing like make sure you're blocking me and then oh. when when you can't block me then do your own thing and mm -hmm. he's coming along he's getting pretty he's getting there's been a few times he has beat me but we actually mm -hmm. put it there the other night just a few minutes a couple nights ago and i, I think i went like six and oh but but he, he was he wanted to play a seventh we just ran out of time connect four always brings to mind one of my worst ever kickstarter experiences um, please do share did you kick the kickstarter? connect four that's what I, i'm saying did. basically yes <laughs> i backed a game called tour kings which i thought oh, had a lot please. more to it strategy wise it, it promised to be like a a mixture of connect four and chess and it's basically just connect four with <laughs> a little added stuff and i paid like you know i don't know by the time shipping and everything, I paid like 40 bucks for Connect 4. And I'm like, what am I doing with my life? It, what was it literally guy? brings that to one of our game nights. He's like, guys, guys, we're going to play our new uh, our new game, my new game tonight. And he brings it out. We're like, that's Connect 4. And he's like, no, no, it's not. It's it's torquing. And we're like, it's Connect 4, Andy. And we just turned away. Okay, yeah, can you was... spell this game for me? I am not twerking. Yeah, twerking? I believe it's what is it? Twerking? T-O-R-K-I-N-G, I believe. Okay, it's all one word. Yes. Okay. I was so like, are the Aussie components nice at least? What is it? What? Are the components nice at least? No, it's plastic garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so it is Connect Four. It's 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 absolutely Connect Four. And here's the worst part: once what? you connect, once you build the thing, the the device, because it has, it does, I guess it does have a little interesting contraption to it. it the pieces are are two sided, so your pieces and the other person's pieces slide out on opposite sides. Ah, which is kind of interesting because you can place there. pieces over pieces. Oh, but oh. Uh, once okay. you construct the thing, you can't put it back in the box either. Oh. <laughs> it's which a mantle piece. Mass market. You're supposed to put it on your table as a show as a showpiece. True. It's yeah. for sale. It's supposed to do. <laughs> it's for sale. Wish Contact it was for me sale. later. That's a good game. All right. Yeah, I think. Snap. I think we probably got time for one more. This one came out in 1400 BC. So it should be a bestseller by now. I remember when this one came out. <laughs> 18 million units sold, two-player game of Mancala. This was one that uh, my wife and I actually played a lot when we first got married. Somebody gave us a Mancala game. And yes, I was like, that's so funny because I'll tell somebody, this is a Mancala engine game. Like, well, what other Mancala engine games are there? Well, there's Mancala, there's Five Tribes, and there's dust in the winds. That's usually the one I'm saying is a Mancala type game. There's not that many. Trajan. Uh, Trajan. Planes. Planes is like a Mancala type game, but it's crappy. No, no way. Like Trajan. Stefan right. Feld. Trajan does. Yep. Does it? Okay. Is it like the only thing you do though? Like those games? No, it's not the only thing you do. That's what I'm saying. That's those other ones. That's the only thing you do. But anybody else played Mancala? Anybody? Yep. Daniel still owns it, right? Was that what you were so, just showing us? I had five I tribes. Really five tribes. That's right. Mancala. <laughs> I played it like as a kid, like at like uh, outdoor summer camps and stuff like that. But we were kids, and so like I'm not even sure I even played it right because 
I don't, what we did, I felt had literally zero agency. You just picked uh, some stuff up and took it around the corner and maybe threw one at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, I actually would like to, I mean, maybe I should have, maybe, maybe this is on me. I should have in show prep learned how to play Mancala, but oh, <laughs> I'm not even sure I know how to really how to play the game. I mean, it's fine, but it's, it's yeah. gratifying. It's nice. You know, the components are gratifying or whatever. Right? Yes. Yes. I don't know. All right. Well, let's talk about the last two here, uh, John, oh, wait. real quick. Wait. Can we do two more? You yeah. didn't ask me wait. about Mancala. Oh, okay. What about you there, Andy? I never played it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. How about we squeeze one more in there, more. Daniel? Is that going to satisfy you? I'll, I'll be satisfied. I really like this one. I really like this. Number 16. Coming in number 16. Number 16 in your guide. Number one in your heart. Stratego. Sold <laughs> over 20 million units. 20 million, baby. Came out in 1961, and it plays two players. We had we played Stratego all the time growing up. Love that game. Oh, man, they're always afraid of running into the bombs. Always the thing about where you're going to set your things up. Recently, I think I might have talked about this on the show. I played this with both of my sons when they're just learning to play games. And you guys, I know Andy's probably like this. You have a hard time not being competitive when you play a game, even when you're playing with your kids. And so what I would have to do is just randomly take a piece and set up my whole board. So I, you know, so it's just set up bad. And even then I had to, I'm going to move from left to right for as long as I can stand it. I'm just going to move this piece. Then I'm going to move this piece. <laughs> and I'm going to move this piece until I just have to start playing. And so that way they have a fighting chance of winning with that, with that game when they're little kids. But no, you're that's... making them soft, John. You're making them soft. <laughs> <laughs> Make them I learn just the demolish them. <laughs> you seen that. Didn't you remember that was my marshal? What is wrong with you? So we had a discussion about mass markets games and yeah. uh, you can go watch that episode. I forget which episode number it was, but we said you, it's mass market. You just know it when you see it. Yeah. And Stratego is one of these mass market games where you just know it when you see it. But I would say it's probably the best mass market game. Mm, like if of. you just go with those classic Milton Bradley games, mm. Stratego, actually there's something there. It's yeah. actually an enjoyable game that you can it actually is. play and, and very chess like and, um, and you know, deduction and, and, bluffing and stuff it's, it's pretty fun yeah it's not a bad game however it was replaced for me by another game uh lord of the rings the confrontation which is got that stratego feel but with a lot more theme going on and and some more strategy i feel mm -hmm. i haven't had that no i've not played that one no me either yeah. check it out i, I never yeah. had an opportunity i haven't had an opportunity to play the stratego in my adult life and I didn't have an opportunity to play it as a child because of all the stickers. So <laughs> it was the first a, game where you had a sticker. It's a, it's a big <laughs> barrier stickers. Like trying to having to put all those on and stuff when you have ADD. It's just, it's not happening. It's not happening. Um, they've actually made something that came out recently. Called, it was like a Stratego story. I don't know. It was another two player game that had kind of a tug of war uh, a p uh, thing to it, you know, where you're moving the thing back and forth. That looked really good too, but I haven't, I've never seen that for sale anywhere. But Stratego was Legacy, I think there's something there. Oh, there we go. Maybe I uh, was write was, it down, Andy. That's an idea. Was the artwork in Stratego the same artwork as Risk? I feel like they're very similar. Maybe I'm, maybe similar, I'm, maybe it's the just, same era, you know, yeah. with the same. Maybe pattern. there's a million versions of both of them too. So. I'm maybe I'm just see, used to seeing the two boxes sure. next to each other. Yeah, there you go. Well, we well, talked about uh... we talked about twenty through sixteen. In the next couple episodes, we're going to talk about uh, the rest of them, and we'll kind of spread this out a little bit. So, like butter. Let us know what you think of any of these games. Have you played these? I bet you a lot of people out there have played a lot of these games. So please let us know what your experiences are with them in the comments below, and always like and subscribe as you're doing it. Ding ding. Thank you for watching this clip from Around the Board. If you'd like to watch the full episode, please click on the link down below. Around the Board is essentially a game show featuring four board game enthusiasts that discuss board game topics and news in a competitive format. Whoever wins gets to talk about whatever he wants at the end of the show. So please join us, won't you, Around the Board.